We encourage you to let the peace of Christ rule the body of Christ. While peace is desired by many, few permit it to actually rule their lives. Life is sweet when peace governs. However, often temporary peace is nothing more than the product of getting what you want. It's short-lived because selfishness can only produce turmoil. The Apostle Paul experienced much pain and betrayal during his life. Yet writing to the believers in Colossae, he instructed them to let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Paul's difficulties and lack of comfort or luxuries did not prevent him wanting the very best God had for other believers. There is no greater treasure than the peace of Jesus Christ. God's best for you is for Christ's peace to govern your hearts by mastering your hearts. Paul is clear about the relational nature of Christ's peace, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. When God determined your salvation before the world existed, He purposed that His peace would not be kept in isolation. Christ's Peace is experienced best when it's synchronized with Christ's body. Peace is one of the products of unity in the family of God, which grows a safe haven for troubled hearts. So obviously Paul says you should be thankful. Thankful because peace is such an enormous gift from God, which, when allowed to domineer your hearts, will enrich the life and vitality of the whole body of Christ. The question begging to be asked is, how is Christ's controlling peace activated in a believer? Paul explains, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Scripture is the instrument used by the Holy Spirit to ignite Christ's peace. You are to saturate yourself with Christ's word so that it becomes the dominating truth, the ruling set of values, and the governing motivation in your thinking. Thoughts, feelings, ambitions, expectations, and responses are all to be ruled by Scripture. Then your Bible-permeated thoughts will flow through your relationships and activities for the world to experience. Bible-induced peace equips God's people to wisely teach each other in love, even correct one another in love. Only when the body surrenders to the rulership of Christ's word will peace stimulate you to sing and praise God with each other lovingly. Only then is the collective church empowered to be thankful from the depths of their hearts, producing unity in worship. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Once the governing peace of Christ overshadows your life, you will desire to do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Meaning, each day you intentionally think how to live as a representative of Christ. You think of yourself as living in the place of Jesus in your environment. This great privilege lifts God's children with an appreciation which becomes the spontaneous response of the life ruled by the peace of Christ. Today we encourage you to let the peace of Christ rule you. Share these thoughts with another believer so they too can be built up in the faith. Forward this to someone you would like to disciple in following Jesus Christ for God's glory and their blessing.